Chapter 1. Jax wiped the oil and grime from his face, leaving streaks of determination in their wake. He looked to Kale, whose youthful eyes belied the resolve within. They stood in the silent aftermath of their battle with the mech law enforcers, the smoldering remains of their adversaries casting a grotesque light on their path ahead. We've made our mark, Kale, Jax began, his voice a low growl softened by a father's warmth. The overlords will be watching now more closely than ever. Kale nodded, his hand instinctively running along the hilt of the currents. Let them watch, he replied, a fire flickering in his gaze. We're not just shadows anymore, we're the blade at the throat of their order. Jax cracked a rare smile, pride swelling in his chest for the warrior his son had become. They'll have their defenses ready for us, layers upon layers between here and the spire. Cameras, drones, more mechs, each sector we cross will be more dangerous than the last. We use their arrogance against them, Kale suggested, his mind racing with strategies. They think we're just scavengers, remnants of their discarded world. They won't expect us to be as inventive as we've become. Exactly, Jax agreed. The Spire is more than just their stronghold. It's the heart of their surveillance network, the core of their control. If we can infiltrate it, we can send a message to the entire city. Kale's eyes narrowed, envisioning the sprawling network of sensors and optic fibers that breathed life into the Overlord's regime. We turn their eyes against them, he said. Broadcast the truth of what happens in these slums. Expose the lies they've built their paradise upon. Jax placed a heavy armored hand on his son's shoulder. We'll need to be quick, silent, and deadly. Use the tunnels where we can, the verticality of the junkyard to our advantage. Your agility and my firepower should give us the edge we need. Kale nodded, the plan taking shape in his mind's eye. We'll be the ghosts of our own making, haunting the very edges of their perception until we're ready to strike. With a shared glance that needed no words, the duo set off, their path a winding serpent through the slums that led to the pulsing heart of oppression. They would need to navigate the intricate web of danger, each step a dance with death. The spire awaited. Jax and Kale moved like wraiths, their armored forms barely whispering against the detritus-strewn ground. A sudden cry splintered the silence, wrenching their attention to a nearby alley where the Overlord's human enforcers, the Iron Fist Authority, known as the IFA, were cornering a family. The IFA were clad in riot gear, the dull sheen of their helmets reflecting the dim light of their electric batons. They were a pack of wolves preying on the weak. A mother, her face lined with the hardships of the slums, and her two children, their eyes wide with terror. Without a word, Jax and Kale melted into the shadows, their approach unseen. The Reckoner's heavy frame stood in stark contrast to Whisper's sleek silhouette, but both were silent predators in the urban jungle. Jax surveyed the scene, his mind racing through tactics. They needed to strike hard and fast, disable the IFA before they could react. With a nod to Kale, they launched into action. Jax burst from the darkness, the Reckoner's frame making him look like a mechanized Goliath. His railgun, already whining with charged energy, roared as it released a concussive bolt straight into the chest of the nearest IFA, sending him flying against the crumbling wall with a bone-crushing thud. Kales, moving with a dancer's grace and a demon's ferocity, engaged with two IFAs. His movements were a blur, the currents leaving arcs of electricity in their wake. He ducked under a swung baton and thrust an electrified blade into the gaps of an IFA's armor. The man convulsed and dropped, overwhelmed by the voltage coursing through him. The other guard turned, swinging wildly with fear, edging his movements. Kale parried with one sword while the other sliced upwards, cutting through the baton and up into the visor of the helmet. There was a spray of sparks and a scream before silence reclaimed the man. Jax was a fortress amidst the chaos, his armored form absorbing blows that would crush a lesser man. His fists became pistons, powered by the suit's hydraulics, each punch like a hammer blow shattering the IFA's resolve. One tried to rush him only to be met with Jax's shoulder, which sent him sprawling as if hit by a charging bull. Two more IFA guards closed in, their batons crackling with electric hunger. Jax spun, uh, the Reckoner's mass wielding inertia like a weapon. His arm swept out, the railgun's barrel catching one under the chin, snapping his head back with a gruesome finality. Kale was poetry in motion, his suit's agility amplifying his innate skill. 
He sidestepped a lunge, his counter a dual thrust that skewered the last IFA's armor at the joints, incapacitating him with clinical precision. Within moments, it was over. The alleyway, lit by the sporadic flickering of failed street lamps, became a tableau of justice, reclaimed by the very hands it sought to crush. Jackson Kale stood amidst the vanquished law force, the gratitude of the family they'd saved a balm to their battle-weary souls. Yet there was no time to linger. The spire beckoned, and with each act of rebellion, their legend and the overlord's fear grew. Kale retracted the currents, the energy blades retracting with a hiss, cooling from their lethal task. His eyes, ever vigilant, watched the IFA enforcers writhing or still on the ground, their armored forms a stark reminder of the oppression that ruled over the slums. The mother, clutching her children close, rose tentatively from the shelter of a doorway, her eyes meeting those of her saviors. Thank you, she whispered, her voice trembling with the weight of fear and sudden relief. Without you, the IFA. Her words trailed off, but the gratitude etched in her gaze spoke volumes. Jax, whose armored bulk still dominated the narrow passage, nodded solemnly. Get to safety, he advised, his voice carrying the rough timber of authority and concern. This is no place for you and the little ones. The IFA will be back and in greater numbers. We will, the woman replied, her determination returning as she gathered her children, and will tell everyone. The heart of the slums beats with you. Your fight is ours too. Kale watched the family disappear into the labyrinth of the slums, a sense of purpose renewing his resolve. Let's keep moving, he said, turning to his father. Every moment we linger gives the AF a time to regroup. Jax nodded in agreement, the weight of their mission pressing upon him. Keep your eyes sharp, Kale. The IFA won't be the only threat we face. As if summoned by his words, a whirring sound sliced through the air. A surveillance drone, not one of the standard patrolling models, but an advanced prototype controlled by the personal guard of the spire. It hovered into view, a sentinel with lethal intent. Its targeting fixated on Jax's broad frame, and before either could react, it unleashed a torrent of energy bolts. Jax grunted as one bolt seared through the armor at his shoulder, the impact spinning him around. His railgun clattered to the debris-laden ground, the servos in his arms sputtering from the damage. Kale reacted with the immediacy of lightning, the currents flashing to life once more. With a deft leap, he closed the distance between him and the drone, slicing it through its central rotor. The drone sputtered, its artificial intelligence flickering out as it crashed beside the wounded Jax. Father! Kale's voice was taut with concern as he knelt by Jax's side, assessing the damage. The armor was scorched, the metal fused and warped by the intensity of the shot. It's not as bad as it looks, Jax grunted, but the strain in his voice betrayed the pain he was enduring. We need to get you fixed up, Kale insisted. The spire can wait. We need Sawbones. Jax's eyes narrowed in reluctant agreement. Sawbones was a legend in the slums, a healer who asked no questions, whose skill in cybernetic repair was unparalleled. But he was also known to be under the thumb of the Gutter Kings, the gang regime that held sway in the deepest reaches of District Zero. 